In this video, I'd like to talk to you about the importance of connecting words together when you speak English to sound more natural and more fluent and to have better pronunciation. We're going to talk about connecting different consonants together. Listen to some examples that I give you and think about the difference of the way these examples sound. It was, it was. Good job, good job. That man, that man. Good morning, good morning. If you notice, in every case, in the first word, the word ended with either a T or a D. And we do something unique when we have a T and a D at the end of the word and the following word starts with a consonant. Let me give you some examples. Let's look at these words. Look at this, good job. The D is at the end of the word and then a J follows it in the next word. So there are two consonants together. You have to be careful what you do with this D. Don't release your tongue. Don't say good, good job. Also, don't skip the D completely. Don't say good job. What we're doing is we're holding the D and we say good job, good job. All right, if there were a vowel after the D, for example, good effort, then you can link them together and you can pronounce the D quickly and you can say good effort, good effort, good attitude. That's different. So with the vowel, you can keep going and release the tongue quickly at a good attitude. Same thing with the T. We're going to hold our tongue and we're going to say that, that way, that way that man, that guy, that thing. If there were a vowel here, that would be a different situation. If we were to say that is, then it changes to a fast D, that is. But with a consonant, we hold it. Now, don't skip the T completely. Don't say that way, that way. That's kind of sloppy speech and it's not clear. That way. One of the reasons that people confuse these expressions very often is because the fact that T is held. A lot of my students say to me, you know, I don't know if people are saying can or can't. I understand that because the T is not really pronounced like T. We don't say I can't go. We hold the T and we say I can't go. I can't go with you. So the only difference between this and this is a slight interruption of the airflow. Can't go. You can interrupt right here with your tongue going up. Can't go. Or you can interrupt it back here by just stopping the airflow in the back and saying, can't go. I can't help you. I can't do it. I can't go. All right, let's practice some more expressions. Don't need. I don't need it. What day? What day is it today? Okay, let's practice some more examples. Listen and repeat. Repeat after me. About that. Tell me about that. Right now. I'll do it right now. Second floor. I live on the second floor. At home. He's at home now. Red car. He has a red car.